Today, we're gonna be absolutely destroying this cruise ship using almost everything from this custom menu. Guys, look at this. There is a spike in front of a cruise ship. Are you guys ready? Okay, we're gonna put it on full speed. Here we go. The engines are gonna start spinning and exhaust is about to start pumping out. I didn't even realize this, but we got a swimming pool on board. But this is absolutely full speed for this boat. It's definitely slower than the Titanic, which is pretty insane. Uh, but it's fitted with more lifeboats and more reliable lifeboats than the Titanic, obviously. But so many actual rooms. Look at those doors right there. But here we go. Cruise ship versus spike. Like, let's see what will happen here. The bow completely crunches inwards. Oh my gosh, there's nothing left of it. Let's throw this thing in reverse so we can get a closer view. Look at all the watertight compartments filling. Um, we're gonna be closing all watertight compartments. There we go, we've closed all of them. I forgot that we have that. That is so cool, there we go. And we are in reverse, backing away from the spike. Engines are still working, thankfully. And oh, look at all that damage. All the stringy stuff is still attached. Oh gosh. All right, let's see what happens here. It might rip some stuff off the boat, trying to like separate from there. There we go, it's just separating perfectly. Perfectly. One rope is still attached and it has completely detached. This one's still connected by a single thread. Oh gosh. Okay, well, I'm sure that won't last long, but I think our reverse gear actually just failed. Um, we're not really moving anymore. I mean, I guess we are really slowly, but oh, look at that. Um, let's open our watertight compartment. Wait, what is that? Um, what's going on? Guys, something's happening. Some it's like really shaking my game. Okay, let's go over here, see what's going on. Zoom. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually have tsunami sirens currently going off, and we're getting some more. Morse code alerts in here. We're in a sinking cruise ship while a tsunami hit. Hopefully we don't break in half. We're going to be closing all watertight compartments. There we go. We're still in reverse. We're trying to get away from this actual tsunami here. Wait, did that just say RPM voyage on the side? This ship has like one of the lowest RPMs ever and goes nowhere. I don't know why that says that there, but that's interesting. This is where we're controlling it at. So let's see if this area up here survives because that's technically where we're at currently. Oh, it's it's really sinking, guys. This is not good. Wait, where's the tsunami at? Oh, okay just a couple miles in front of us. I think this thing's gonna sink before the tsunami even hits, but let's see. The water's somehow spreading through the watertight compartments, even though we have them closed. Uh, lifeboats are still on board. We could probably still possibly launch the uh, four lifeboats over here, but um, oh, we're about to go underwater over here. That's not good. We have all of our like radar stuff right there. Look how fast we're sinking, and the tsunami is just, just in front of us. Uh, still a couple miles there. I feel like we're going to sink and lose all power before we actually hit the tsunami, but we're gonna see here, because I feel like we're gonna split right here exactly like the titanic but as you can see uh we're losing electric in the majority of these rooms over here you can see all the electric blinking and fluttering oh this is really bad okay that normally means the ship's gonna split if that happens but it is official we are underwater currently so we're not gonna even know a tsunami is going over us besides the fact that the air pressure or i meant water pressure is gonna get insane but here we go now the stern is really starting to lift out of the water here while we're gonna get hit by the tsunami and all the fish are starting to um put their homes inside of our bow how about we don't do that yet because I don't know if we're gonna sink. Um, I kind of have a feeling we're going to, but we'll see. Oh, this is gonna hurt really bad. We're gonna start rising the wave here just in a couple seconds. We're losing all of our electrical systems. Oh, we're hearing sparks go off. This is not good. Okay, here we go. We're hitting the tsunami. Let's see if we can actually survive this. Filling up our water slide area. We're getting lifted up. Okay, that's really good. Oh, it's gonna capsize us. Please don't flip over. This is not good. Oh, no. We're gonna flip completely on our upside here, and that's just really not gonna do good. Okay, the ship is really flexing there. All right, so on our custom menu here, we have the smash. So let's see what the smash option thing does. So we're just gonna do the, um, let's just do the center of the ship. So right here, we're gonna do smash that. Oh, okay, so it puts like a big dent where we do, oh, oh gosh. Okay, I know what it does. Close all watertight doors. There we go, we've closed all watertight doors. We're gonna do some damage, ton of separate compartments here. Just see what happens, because that's normally quite interesting. Let's just say we got under attack. Some pirates decided to put some C4 in the boat or something. Look at that, our entire bow deck is dipping under. That's not good. We've lost all power for the actual boats. All watertight doors have just reopened up since they have no power. I think that's how it works. Engines are completely stalled, of course, because electric's gone. And this thing is slowly sinking, but let's just completely sink it here. Um, should we try splitting it? That seems interesting. Okay, we're gonna just do a big crack through the middle here. See what this does. Will this put any stress? Let's see. Um, there's no way this isn't gonna break. Let's see here, though. Okay, it's sinking, but it's not snapping. Here, we'll do this, and now it should definitely break. Look at that. It's definitely starting to bend in some form right there. Oh my gosh. Will we see this actually break? Um, I think we're going to. Guys, look at that. A single pixel is holding on this massive two ships right here. Or actually one ship. But let's see if it'll uh, eventually snap right here. Okay, so right here is where a lot of tension should start um, getting applied to that little area. And we're going to see if it snaps. It's actually looking 
looking pretty promising. The back is trying to stay float while this thing is completely filled with water, sinking like a rock. So that really is under a ton of stress right there. Very impressed how it's not snapping. That's actually really satisfying. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's starting to do all those glitch stuff. And it has just snapped. Look at that. And there goes the bow of the ship. All right, our next one is slice. I think it is slice. So it's like a chainsaw, guys. Look at my mouse right here. It's like a chainsaw. So if we use this chainsaw above water, it'll make like a chainsaw noise. Here, how about we cut down our water slide? We don't need this water slide here anymore. We're doing some renovations on the ship. Who needs a water slide? Okay, we're just gonna get rid of the water slide just like that. And it's still somehow connected by something. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, who needs a water slide? Goodbye. Hopefully there's no one inside of that. That'd be crazy. Wait, it's still connected by like a thread or something. Hold on, we'll just disconnect that. There we go. Okay, now hopefully no one's in the water slide because they're gonna get some real water in there. Perfect. And we're gonna do some customizations to our exhaust here. So let's say we just wanna um, cut off our exhaust piping right here. We'll just do that a little bit. Why is my camera like going down so much? I don't know what's going on. Oh, my camera's following the water slide that's sinking. Um, Hopefully that hits the bottom. Actually, it's going to. Jeez, that thing is deep already. What in the world? Here we go. Water slide versus ocean floor. Let's see what happens. And yes, I'm pretty sure there are still people in there. Let's see. And complete destruction. Okay, that wasn't as crazy. But let's see what happens if we get rid of our exhaust manifolds up here. So we'll just cut those off because we want some custom exhaust modifications. And we'll just do something like that. There we go. There goes all that stuff. And you know what? I'm making the executive decision to change the brand name of RPM Voyage. We're just going to get rid of this entire top part right here. I don't like the uh, the name RPM, and I feel like that's just bad for aerodynamic reasons. Um, same with this part right here. What in the world is going on? So we're just going to cut this entire logo out. We're doing a brand change here. Um, anywhere else that says that. Um, let's see. I don't know what this is, but we don't want to be identified that as anymore. So we'll cut that out. Um, anything else that kind of labels us as that? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're all clear, but I do hear some stuff breaking at the back of the ship here. What is this? Hold on. What in the world? We don't need that anymore. Uh, there were no more identification, guys. Um, I think we're having more problems than identification. Okay, so what we're going to do now is kind of try splitting the boat. So we're just going to do a big line through. Oh, we've lost our power grid. That is not good. Look at it splitting right here. Oh, that's rough. We have completely cut the ship in half. I think it's still connected by like a thread somewhere probably, but look at this, guys. This is insane. Close watertight compartments right now, and it still is working, which is pretty cool, but um, let's see if it can stay afloat. Look at it. It's still connected right here. Let's see if this part ever snaps. It's under a lot of tension right now. Look, the back part's actually bringing the uh, front part down. So, oh, there we go. I think it's going to split. And there we go. Just completely snapped right there. Now the back part will separate from the top. And the top is floating up. The I love the sound effects in this game. It's pretty cool. What is this? Um, oh, that's the logo we cut off. Yeah, we definitely don't need that anymore. Whole bunch of glass shattering, though. The bow of the ship is still fine. Uh, we're just going to do some stuff up here. Some modifications to the hull. There we go. It's a little bit flexy, but I like it. I am hearing like 100,000 pieces of glass break every second. And it's because of this. Okay, we're just going to do some little pizza slices down here. There we go. So now we got some water flooding in every room. That looks so cool. Okay, now we're going to be using the heat blaster slash cool blaster. So what does this heat blaster do? Okay, so it starts fires. Um, Oh, okay. We do indeed have a fire on the top of the boat. Um, let's try starting a fire to like our water slide area or maybe our exhaust system. It's not working. Okay, so only one thing actually caught fire on this boat up there. Let's see if this spreads to like the main boat. Wait a second, guys. I held it down here for a long time and it caught fire. Hold on, we're gonna do it again. So if we just hold it down here for a couple seconds, look at the area it's starting to get really dark. What if I hold it there for like really long time? Let's see if it actually starts a fire here. Just keep uh, heating it up, you know? Okay, so we've had it there for a decent amount of time, but it's only like made it really red. Okay, next one is a fire extinguisher. I guess this will come in handy at about this situation and this situation only. So you can put out this hot area right here and it actually does work. Like it kind of put out the heat area. Um, let's use it on the actual fire here. And it does work, surprisingly. Um, not really surprising. I mean, I guess it's a fire extinguisher, but that's pretty cool. All right, next one is this blast. So we have this blast thing here. What does blast do? We're gonna test it on this. Um, I don't know what the... Oh, it's really messing up the water. It's a big wave we just actually launched at the uh, cruise ship here. But let's use this blast thing right Right here so we'll just click it once um this is me clicking blast i don't know what this does Wait, maybe i have to hold it down for it to like actually have the shockwave so that's blast oh my god the entire ship is like in a death shake look how much it's shaking like it's definitely wobbling too much it's probably gonna break if we do that again let's try it so let's just do another um death wobble right there keep doing the death wobble it looks really cool here we go the ship is break dancing right now let's just say let's see if it snaps in half oh that was a big one okay we're just gonna keep doing a couple more times just a couple more times then this is me 
me up here just partying, jumping around. Actually, it's probably Debbie. It's definitely a Debbie thing. Okay, we're just gonna hold it down. Oh my gosh, we completely blew up the entire, like, control area of the cruise ship. Okay, so I don't think that's, um, operating anymore, if I'm gonna be honest. Let's test if the engine still works. This is full speed, and the engines, I don't, wait, the engines are still working. What in the world? How does that even work? Okay, I don't even know, but we're gonna do this again. So we just hold it down right there, and then it'll make a massive explosion, and oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna do it in the center of the boat right here. So a small explosion like that, and a massive one. Oh, we've lost all of our power grid. There it goes, guys. The boat's still driving. It's gonna ram itself straight into the barrier right here, and the bow's gonna completely destroy itself, even worse than when we first rammed it. What in the world? Okay, okay, the next one is an electrical, like, spark. So we're gonna go select that one, and I'm guessing this just, like, cuts out the power grid. So if we turn on, like, some watertight compartments or something, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is what happens when I click the spark near the ship. Um, okay, it's a bunch of lightning strikes, and it just cuts out the power. It's like an EMP, you could say. But then the power does eventually come back on. Okay, that's the interesting part. So I can, like, completely destroy the watertight compartments for a second. But I don't think this spark thing could really sink a ship at all unless it filled, like, all the ballast for some reason. And even if the ship has all of its ballast filled, it shouldn't sink. I mean, definitely not. All right, the next one is attract slash repel. So what does this mean? So if we hold it, like, right here, what does that do? Oh, oh my gosh, that's all the smoke from the boat. Wait, how does this work? So, if, oh, okay, that looks like fluff. What in the world is going on there? That does not look like smoke. That looks like a Build-A-Bear workshop, like, paradise over here. What in the world? Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this. We're lifting the entire cruise ship in the air with this. Okay, I definitely think we could sink the cruise ship with this one. Um, let's see what happens here. It's gonna crash down from the bow. Let's see if any water actually floods. Uh, watertight compartments are closed. There's water entering the top area right there. Um, the ship didn't flex at all, but let's see if I hold it down, like, in the center of the ship. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Here we go. And not really a lot of stuff happened. Wait, it drug a storm over here. Oh, no. Wait, what the heck? Um, never mind. I think something really bad's forming. Oh, this is bad, guys. This is really bad. So much bad stuff is happening. Did not spawn any of this in. I've been recording. Um, we are flooding in all of the compartments, so look at that. There's, like, some slight water in there. A ton of water in this one. But we have entered a major storm, and we have a tsunami currently heading for us. Um, let's go on full reverse. We're going on full reverse. We gotta hit the tsunami. Kind of going a little bit slow here, so this is gonna be interesting. We are in, like, straight hurricane weather right now. It is pouring down here. The front is sinking. Hopefully, we don't sink. Reverse should help us out a little bit. All right, the tsunami is about to head over the spike right now. Let's see if it can make it. I just heard a lightning strike. What was that? Was that on the ship? I don't think so. But the storm kind of looks like it's ending. Um, let's zoom out here. Um, kind of not really. Okay, it's definitely not ending. Here we go. Cruise ship versus a tsunami. We're going to go on full speed here. We have just shifted the cruise ship in drive. So now we should uh, try climbing the tsunami at least. There's water filling up the compartment super fast now for some reason. Here we go. Cruise ship versus tsunami on full speed. Let's see what happens here. Um, we're going to start rising it right now. Let's see if the ship actually flexes at all. That'd be interesting. I like seeing when ships flex. It just looks really cool. Uh, we're in the middle of the tsunami right now, and we're going to launch our back self out of it. Okay, that's fine. We're going to pierce the water with our bow. I'm just guessing that's what's going to happen. We're going to completely dive down like a submarine. Hopefully, we resurface. Matter of fact, we're going to try on reverse so the propeller can try pulling us back up just in case. This isn't looking too good. Here we go. Try start floating up. I see water filling in every compartment right now. And there we go. We're floating up some... Wait, what in the world? How are we floating up like this? I wouldn't be surprised if we snapped in half about now. But there we go. We have resurfaced. And it looks to me like we're definitely... Oh, um, never mind. We're not resurfacing. Yeah, this doesn't look too good. I think we did actually end up sinking from that tsunami, which is pretty insane. But yeah, this is a pretty cool little grapple tool. I mean, yeah, let's see what the next one is. So if we go to tools menu here. All right. So now we have our new ship here. Let's start twirling some stuff around. Let's see what this does. So we're just going to keep twirling it right here. Let's see if it snaps. Um, Oh gosh, this is going to make it go upside down. Let's see if we can do like a full circle with this. Oh, the ship completely snapped in half. Oh my gosh. There goes the front of it and this back of it sank instantly for some reason. Let's see what the front of it does here. You know, we'll just keep swirling it around, try making it land on its upright. Here we go. Let's see if the front lands upright here. All the glass is breaking and yeah, there, I don't think that's going to float back up, but we'll see. The front part has completely sunk. Okay, the next one is toggle pin. Um, let's just say we put a pin right there. What happens? Um, the pin just stays in one spot and the ship doesn't. So here, how about we turn it on drive? Let's see what happens on drive here. What will this pin do on drive? All right, we got this thing on full speed and it's moving and the pin just stays in place. So what if I just like drag it across? How does this work? I don't know what a pin does, guys. What in the world? Okay, I don't know what pin does, but we have this like spray paint bottle or something. It says inject slash pressure or something. I don't 
don't know. I don't think it's doing anything. And then we have flood slash dry. So let's just flood. Oh my gosh, that's what it does. Look at the water noise. Just listen to it. It sounds so cool. Like we can just fill our boat up with water and it goes through all those little compartments. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna close our watertight doors. There we go. That is like the loudest thing ever. Okay, they are closed. So I definitely think we can sink this with this. So if we just fill all of our watertight tanks, this should just sink. So we're just gonna fill all this up. Perfect. Just drink it up, drink it up. Here we go. Okay, we filled this entire like front of the ship up and it's not sinking. So let's just check what the next one is. We'll just do it with this. So next one is, let's see, uh, toggle time bomb. So if we click that, oh my, wait, is that actually gonna explode? Um, the fuse is going down concerningly fast. Okay, I'm gonna back up here. What's gonna happen with the time bomb? Oh, there it is, a complete explosion. All the fish are swimming away. Okay, so we have a slight damage in the front of the boat here, actually the center. We're gonna place a couple more of these time bombs, see what happens. So just a couple more, not a whole lot, guys. You know, you, you know me. There we go, let's see what happens. We're gonna see a lot of explosions currently happen in sync here. This is catastrophic, absolute eruption in the boat. Uh, we're still floating somehow, so let's see if we sink. Um, I definitely see that we're sinking faster towards the front here. Um, but most importantly, let's see if we split in half. And we're gonna try right here, I feel like it's gonna split. I'm gonna guess right here, it's probably gonna attempt to split in half. I see it flexing really hard there. I hear stuff really starting to bend. I also see it bending. Let's see if it breaks right here, guys. Do you guys see this also? The front of the boat's kind of at this angle, and the back of the boat's angling a little bit upright. How about we do a bomb like right here? That has to break it in half. Let's see what happens here, guys. Oh, the time bomb went out because of the water. That's actually interesting. Okay, we'll just do a couple of bombs right there then. That'll work. Let's see if this many bombs is enough to break the boat in half officially. And I don't know if it's going to. It's really wobbling. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one might have done it. Let's see. Everything's completely collapsing here. I don't know if it's going to split, guys. It's going to get really close, but I don't think so. It is flexing so hard, but it's not breaking. I know it wants to, but I don't know if it's going to. Let's see right here. It has to break. I can only use bombs for this, and it's not going to work because it's underwater. Oh, no. I want to see it break. Here we go. I think it just split in half. Oh, it just almost did. It hasn't split, though. Oh, it's so close. I don't know if it's going to, guys. This is just kind of... We're on the edge here. We're on the edge. The ship has completely lost power. Now we're going straight to the bottom without splitting in half. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. I completely thought it was going to split there. Let's reset this because this is, like, really loud. Okay, toggle RC bomb. We'll just do an RC bomb, like, right here. What will this do? Um, let's see. It's all blinking a little bit concerningly fast. Um, when will it explode? Is there, like, an additional one I have to use for this? Um, toggle RC bomb. Okay, this one might be it. Here we go. We're going to toggle it. Um, that's the same one. I'm confused. Maybe I have to click F to fire it off, or do I click on it? Um, I'm clicking one, two, three, four, five. I don't know what I have to click. Okay, well, while that's doing whatever it's doing, we're going to throw some... That's not what I wanted to do. There's, like, a grenade or something. Um, toggle impact bomb. So, this thing right here, what is this? Um, how do I toggle that? So I want to toggle it. It's... Oh, okay, that exploded that. I don't know how to toggle that, guys. Please let me know how to toggle this. Do I click G on it? So I don't know what I click. Okay, now we have the anti-matter bomb. Let's see what this does. Um, if it ever explodes. We'll just leave it there, see what it does in the future here. I feel like these might explode any second now, since they are time bombs, so we're gonna get away from those. Let's see what's up next. So, here we have the Thanos snap. What do you guys think this does? Um, let's just test it over here, kind of far away from the ship. So, we're just gonna do it right here, and I see, like, a little bit of a wave going through. Hopefully, that doesn't hit the ship. It's probably not gonna do anything. Thanos snap versus ship. Wait, what in the world is happening to my ship? Why is it destroyed? Oh my gosh, why did it do that? I wanted these bombs to explode. Wait, will that explode the bomb? Let's see what will happen here. We've lost all power. It's exploding the bombs, but it's not really... Oh, that one's kind of going to concern me here. This is kind of concerning, guys, because we've just lost our entire ship. Like, complete disintegration. What in the world is going on over here? Okay, well, this is quite interesting looking, you can say. All of our particles are going through that. Look at that. That looks like a universe. Oh my gosh, it just flashed so bright and threw everything everywhere. Okay, well, there goes our cruise ship. That's um, a ton of cruise ship people and parts flying away. All right, so we know what wave maker and wind maker does so we're not going to test that laser cannon let's just do a laser cannon here it'll just light some fires throughout the ship and we'll just make a little bit of a stress point right there so you can snap right there oh there goes our power grid okay uh, let's see what the next one is before this thing snaps hopefully so the next one is adjust terrain okay so this is actually how we make spikes and stuff and um entire bodies of land i guess also and there goes the ship it has completely uh split in half all right next one next one guys we got to do this quick okay repair can we repair Repair all this if we just do some repair stuff right here do some uh, you know mechanical stuff we're trying to repair it together let's see if we can repair two ships and um, hopefully restart this thing
happening. There we go. Okay, it's actually looking pretty good. We gotta fix the water leak we have. I feel like we can fix this. Okay, just fix it. Just bring the tool up and down and it should uh, fix here in a second. Okay, we're gonna go on full speed. Full speed does not work, um, probably for obvious reasons. Okay, so the repair tool probably does work, but only for a certain extent, you could say. So let's see what the next one is. The next one is scrub slash rot. So if I click this down, it scrubs um, stuff. What in the world does that do? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna use the next one. Uh, the next one is uh, scare slash um, fish. So what does that do? Oh, it scares the fish away. Where's the fish at? So if I bring this near the fish, it'll scare the fish away. What in the world? That's actually funny. It's like a bunch of screaming kids. What in the world? And the last but not least is this like toggle. Um, what's it called? Physics probe. So what is this? Toggle physics probe. What does that do? Um, okay, I can increase the... Oh, it like tells me all the information about it. Oh, that's interesting. That's really cool. But there goes the ship, guys. That was a pretty interesting video. We used all of those. So now I kind of have an idea of what we should do in this game because I'm really new to this game. Like this is my second video on it. So let me know in the comments what you'd actually like to see in this game. There's like a ton of cruise ships since Titanic's here. Let me show you some of the ships we can use. So there's like airplanes and I'll just scroll down the list kind of fast here. But here's all the stuff. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.